Uh, greetings, Cancer, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing well, and my name is Ingrid, and thank you for tuning in to this reading uh, for the first or second week of September. And let's see what it is that the oracles have for you. And right now, you're coming into a sense of a change maker, make waves. Well, that is coming for you. And you might want to look at the reading I did for you yesterday because there was a lot of energy around the water. So you're making waves as you're uh, changing. And uh, this energy around you, the 45, uh, you might be seeing a repetition of 444 four, four, and 555. And uh, thank you, Spirit Guides, for bringing us uh, this oracle message for uh, cancer. Well, Shamul, number one, light green, could be an important color for you at this time as you're making changes, making waves. And it's interesting, I have the uh, dancer, the ballerina on, and that could be an important energy around you, dancing, something from your childhood where you danced or you were very theatrical or the superhero, you see. But you have this guardian angel around you, Cancer, bringing you this happiness, this vibrancy. I can just feel it around the energy of the reading. Uh, and it's going to um, bring you hope because you're letting go of anxiety, of any kind of burden, of be feeling restless or in despair because you're the change maker. The waves are moving you. You're riding the waves. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And uh, I see that you're nurturing this energy. You're feeling very uh, fertile, very productive, very beautiful at this time. There could be a lot of Venus energy around you. Um, but you're going to feel that uh, happiness coming. And the number one, that's this new beginning that the change is coming. And this is what I have for my cancers. And as you come in this reading, you're thinking a lot about your emotions. This is a Cancerian energy of the King of Cups, Scorpio, or Pisces. But you see how this king, this masculine energy, whether you're a man or a woman, but it's this uh, extroverted energy that moves outward uh, toward uh, those deep feelings, can contain them and work with others uh, in this feeling around uh, turbulence in the emotional realm at the foundation. But you're balanced now, very secure, knowing how to go with the ups and downs, know how to listen deeply. Um, use your intuition because what is uh, challenging this is the hangman well, this is a card of Pisces energy so there is a lot of watery energy around you and the hangman is here saying um, you're uh, suspended maybe you're hung up maybe something's coming in uh, very slowly uh, you feel burdened by uh, these emotions by your emotional intelligence you're seeing something from a new perspective because you're surrendering uh, something that is no longer serving you in the realm of your uh, feelings how you uh, emotionally handle your situations the ups and downs of life and you're suspended for um, a new enlightened perspective you might need to sacrifice an old way of thinking because you're the change maker and the change maker has to release the old so you can receive the new. Uh, you could be in getting enlightened about these deep feelings, but there is a slow moving energy around this because at the foundation, uh, you're needing to rest and heal, uh, tap into your uh, inner wisdom to really reflect um, on uh, what it is that will uh, make you uh, feel secure emotionally and mentally. Something you're seeing uh, is taking you time to make these changes, uh, to move out of anxiety and feeling burdened maybe feeling burden and needing to heal that 
take time out. Uh, this restlessness has maybe come to a point where you're needing, you see in the stained glass, to really receive guidance from someone older than you, uh, to receive a blessing. And at the recent past where you felt like uh, independent, wealthy, secure in what you're growing, what you've accomplished, a very uh, abundant, and uh, you know that you have that spirit bird, which is that connection to the spirit realm where you can send out uh, these deep feelings and like the hangman, release, uh, suspend, uh, and come to a new way of seeing yourself financially. That's what's happened recently. And you feel your abundance. And what's coming at the crown is the page of cups. Well, a new a feeling of artistic energy. Something you want to be creative around. And you've got the king of cups and the page. So there's a lot of um, emotional um, energy uh, that you come into this week with. And the... Um, Higher powers want to, you to know that you're receiving this from a dream, from your intuition. And uh, what's happening right now mentally is as you rest and heal and meditate at the foundation, you're also going to need to look at any area where you might have been self-sabotaging mentally. Uh, this is a card of the air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But you see that your castle is not that far away. And in the recent past, you had this nine of pentacles. So something is coming up now, uh, maybe out of a dream, out of your intuition, something artistic, maybe that you're getting as you meditate about how to get out of uh, this suspended uh, situation where you felt hung up. Um, and as the uh, Beatles song, Nothing to Be Hung About, uh, this is a card of hanging. Uh, and you can uh, of maybe sacrificing something about your emotional intelligence as you rest and meditate because you're seeing this abundance, this independence um, based on some creative, artistic new understanding that's going to help you release uh, this imprisonment, this entrapment. If you feel that anyone is interfering mentally with you at this time or that you feel that you're entrapped or can't see the truth, but you will move out of this anxiety and this despair, this feeling of um, being entrapped, not being able to move forward, um, maybe fixated on kind of shallow thoughts, uh, things that you are not really that deep, not really that concerning, but you're making it more uh, than it is. So let's get more clarity on how you're seeing this King of Cups now. Well, you're seeing the King of Cups with the eyes of the King of Pentacles. Well, this is the wealthiest card in the deck in the sense of uh, this is a, a person it represents a person. It could be a man or a woman, but someone who has masculine energy that is very good at problem solving and also is very good at uh, the emotional realm, is, can be the authority of their emotions and be able to deal with uh, a lot of um, uncertainty, uh, but also with a calmness, with understanding, with ability to not spill uh, their cup. <clears throat> even though the waters are churning underneath you. But also this King of Pentacles looks to the King of Cups with uh, emotional um, intelligence, but this is a card of the material world, a material uh, understanding of how the business world works, how finances work, um, how to make these financial choices and changes that will bring you abundance, wealth. You see this, uh, a king has this um, castle here and it's not that far from the castle you're in. And so you're moving toward this energy of abundance, of wealth, of prosperity, of problem solving, of making very good career choices based on emotional intelligence at this time a Cancer. But the environment is influencing you with a sense of um, temperance. 
Well, someone particular in your environment is going through a time of healing, of taking time out, and there are two cards of healing, balance, uh, seeing things uh, from a meditative or or having to um, understand how to emotionally balance, because temperance is um, balances emotions by having one foot in the water and one foot on earth and knowing how to blend those different realms. Um, and you're doing that with the help of the environment or someone in your environment might be uh, transforming, changing, going through, uh, this is the card of alchemy, going through uh, alchemical changes. Uh, and that is going to lead to making some waves, um, but able to know that you can handle these emotional turbulence because you're blending and balancing aspects of yourself uh, that is going to help you see things in a new way about your limitations, about your mental constrictions, about feeling mentally cut off and isolated. But you're going to uh, hope and fear is to let go of that anxiety, that burden, uh, that feeling of um, despair, of worrying about uh, some situation. But you are going to move from the uh, eight to the nine. So there is progression um, away from just sheerly being imprisoned and isolated and stuck, um, burdened to seeing uh, your hope and fear. Your hope is that you'll wake up from this nightmare. Your fear is that you can't go to sleep. You can't leave this alone. You can't, uh, the environment is saying balance, heal, blend, transform. And your hope and fear is you can, you want to. But there is anxiety, burden, depression, fear. Uh, despair about some situation that has come up recently uh, but because you have been praying and meditating at the foundation but what is it that the advice is for you cancer well the advice is to uh, celebrate the advice is to recognize your happiness your vibrancy there is energy and hope with this partnership that you might not see at this time. Uh, but it's coming because you've reached this, uh, a sense you have another four here. So there are two of the four. So there is balance. Mentally, you're trying to gain this balance. And also you're trying to uh, gain uh, this energetic balance of coming to fulfillment, whatever you put your work into. Uh, you are... Uh, working on a home, a renovation, moving in with a person to a new home. Uh, this could be an announcement of a marriage. Uh, but something where it's, a, it's coming to a rite of passage uh, to move forward. You've got the green light. Um, and it's coming because uh, there are choices to be made. You could be maybe uh, in this despair as your uh, hope and fear is because there are choices. This is a shadow uh, figure, and this is of the cups cancer, of cancer Pisces, a Scorpio energy. And you could be having to um, wake up, look at something nightmarish about a choice you made or that you might fear making a choice because you want to celebrate, you want to reap these rewards and share and uh, come together with others. But each of these cups represent one of the deadly uh, sins, seven deadly sins. And what is it you want? That could be the question. There's, you are the change maker. You're making waves, but you need to wake up out of maybe some kind of uh, fantasy, delusion, and to see whatever is this rite of passage, this finish line, there is a choice coming, and the choice is going to be of the sun. Clarity. You're getting clarity on the choice now. With optimism, you're starting a new rebirth. 
and look at the children here around you. So there is something childlike, innocent, a rebirth, a coming out of a time of um, your hope and fear was that you would be stuck in this nightmare, that you couldn't sleep, you, that you were so worried. Um, but now you're, uh, the sun is here. When the sun comes into a reading, it's giving this optimism, this uh, clarity, this happiness. And you have happiness, vibrancy, energy and hope is coming uh, for you. And uh, that is what I have, Cancer, an amazing uh, reading uh, that is coming as the energy field around the second week of September. And uh, this recap is as you come into this week, you'll need a lot of emotional intelligence to deal with the suspension, with things taking time, with having to heal an, uh, some energy where you're kind of um, not able to use your arms and legs. You're kind of restricted. But you're going to um, get the healing energy you need, the information from your dreams, from your intuition. So... You can see how you made this independent wealth. You've worked hard. You've accomplished a lot. You have this bird, this spirit bird. It's a, a bird of prey, a peregrine falcon that you send out to do your mission out there. And it's able to come back because you can control what it is you put out there and bring it back. And it's something about artistic endeavors, something creative that is in a young form and somehow it's bringing up anxiety in terms of uh, feeling restricted like you're self-sabotaging whatever this artistic energy is that you are so independently abundant around but you don't worry because you with your hope and faith you're gonna keep working at this and make changes and be abundant, wealthy. You've got the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles, so there's a lot of ability to um, make good choices, practical choices, bring things down to earth, um, make money, uh, to uh, build um, and establish all the statuses of wealth, property, abundance, the vineyard. And um, the environment is uh, taking time out to be balanced emotionally. Or you're learning something about emotional balance from another person. Because you need to wake up from this anxiety, uh, this depression, this despair in your mind. It could be just nothing's really happening. It's just a catastrophe in your mind. That once you see uh, that there are uh, multiple choices that you need to make. Uh, there are choices that will bring in this finish line, this rite of passage. And that's up to you to make these choices. And it's coming because you're seeing it clearly with optimism, with hope. Look at the banner flying, your passions flowing. Uh, your instincts are going forward with innocence uh, toward the sun, toward this Leo energy. And that's what I have for you, Cancer, an amazing reading. Uh, when the sun shines on your reading, it's saying there's clarity, there's optimism. Uh, this could be uh, the announcement of the birth of a child or of a marriage, of some, some new life coming out of this. Because when the sun shines, everything grows with happiness, vibrancy, energy, and hope. And that's what I send out to all my cancers out there and sending you so much love because I so appreciate all of the love you give me uh, through your comments and your thumbs up. But uh, especially subscribe to my channel and I'd love to hear just one word from you about how the sun is shining and how you're getting the green light to move forward. And you are making these changes and you're making waves uh, and so it is. And sending you love. And thank you so much again for all of your comments. I really uh, look so forward to hearing them. See you next time. Bye-bye.